In this video, I'm going to break down one of the best and most effective money plays from the Gun Bunch in Madden 22. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focusing in on helping people become the best Madden players they can possibly become. So if you're looking to get better at this game, I want to encourage you to click subscribe down below. Turn on those notifications as we upload Madden 22 tips and tricks that can help you on both sides of the ball every single day on our YouTube channel. Now I'm in the gun bunch, we're going to be using the verticals play out of the Seattle Seahawks. And so before I want to break down this play, I want to let you know that if you have not already joined our text message membership, it's a way that you can get Madden 22 offensive and defensive guides completely for free. All you have to do to sign up is text the word Madden to 208-218-6900 and we'll shoot you those schemes completely for free every single week throughout the course of the Madden 22 season. Again, all you have to do is text the word MADDEN to 208-218-6900. Okay guys, so I wanted to share this play verticals with you this year. I think this is um, going to be maybe the best play out of Gun Bunch. It's really, really effective uh, for a lot of different reasons. We're going to go over uh, a couple of different versions of this play, and I think you're going to have a lot of fun with it. So the first way we're going to do it is kind of the traditional way. We're going to motion circle to the outside. And what you're going to see is this X receiver is going to really find a sweet spot in the seam. It's actually better than it's ever been, in my personal opinion. The seams in this year's game are very vulnerable to um, easy reads for your opponent or for your, for your quarterback. And so all we have to do is motion this guy out. Literally, that's it. And what you're going to see is another thing that we have is this snap throw. Now, I know that we can't snap him in motion, but if it's a cover three zone, okay, if it's any cover three zone, okay, and I'm going to go over cover four drop in just a second, but any cover three coverage where they bail, if they bail, just throw this ball outside pass lead, and as you can see, we're going to be able to consistently hit this for about 10 yards, even if they have a hard flat defender out there. Now, I want to show this against cover four drop just so you can kind of see the difference between the two adjust the two zone adjustments. We're just going to motion him out, kind of let him set his feet, and take a look at cover four drop. You're going to see this actually going to beat it a little bit better. So cover four drop, check. Cover three, check. We're able to beat both of those coverages. Now, the beauty of this play is also found in the fact that, let's say, for example, they, you know, for whatever reason, let's just say that they choose to go Tampa 2. Okay, I really hope they don't because it's too easy to beat. But let's say they run Tampa 2 on this. If they run Tampa 2 on this, what you're going to see is as soon as Circle cuts the outside, just pass lead that straight up. It's a one-play touchdown against Cover 2 every single time this year. It's actually much better than it's ever been against Cover 2. This verticals play obliterates Cover 2, and Cover 2 was really the best defense against Bunch, Bunch last year, if you ask me. So then that takes us to man coverage. Against man coverage, what you're going to see is these wheel routes um, are going to get an up pass lead. As you see right there, I'm just going to pass lead that wheel route up, and it's able to beat man-to-man -man coverage. Last year, this really wasn't able to be an option against man-to-man -man coverage, but specifically against cover to man and specifically against shaded down man-to-man -man coverage, you're going to find that when he cuts up field, as long as he gets over the top, it's an easy one play score against cover two man, just like it's an easy one play score against cover two. So cover two, check. Cover three, check. Cover four, check. Cover two man, check. Now what I want to do is I want to go over cover zero just for a brief second here. And I'm going to go over shaded over the top coverage. Okay, so I'm shading my coverage over the top. And I want you to watch this vertical receiver uh, circle here. You're going to see that that corner is not going to let him get over the top. So in that example, we're going to just check the ball down to the back, and that back will always beat man-to-man -man coverage. And typically against man-to-man -man coverage, you're going to see that that back is going to want to, um, you know, just simply run across the middle. That's really what we want him to do. Uh, ideally, he runs an in route every single time. And as you see, beats man coverage for a little, you know, a couple yards here and there. Now, the next read that I want to share with you against man, specifically against this idea of shade over top, is this this um, this R1 route. This R1 route has not been very good in the last couple of Maddens, 
this year is different. It is incredible against man to man. That is your man killer. And so you're going to get the user having to defend between if they run the shaded up man coverage, they're going to have to choose. Am I going to defend the crossing route or am I going to choose the running back? That's pretty much what they have to make a decision on. And generally speaking, um, they're going to actually choose the running back because they're not used to that route to R1 killing man coverage. But take a look at this crosser pass lead that to the left right there. I actually got covered, but typically that's going to be open. I'll show it to you one more time before we get into some more uh, concepts on cover three. So just shading my coverage up. I just want to show you R1. But see that right there, that's what you're supposed to get. And as you can see, it, it just kills main coverage. So now I want to spin uh, one more uh, covered shell, and that's the cover four show two. Now the cover four show two does a decent job against this, but again, I just want to go through all the coverages with you. And what you're going to see is that the tight end route this year absolutely obliterates cover four match. So cover four match, check. Cover four quarters, check. Cover two, check. Cover three, check. Cover two man, check. This play literally beats every coverage. And that's what makes it so special because it's a quick snap play. I don't have to make any hot routes. I just motion this guy out and that's it, I'm done. And watch this tight end. If I wait on this tight end, look at how wide open he's gonna get. It's almost a one play score every single time. If you can hurdle people, you know, you got Gronk, truck people, it's gonna be an absolute laser. I want to talk one more thing a little bit about cover three. So we talked about the snap throw uh, capability of this play. We also talked a little bit about the seams um, and how you can attack the seams. But now what I want to do is I want to show you this crossing route to the R1. This crossing route to the R1 is a very underrated route. As you can see right there, the outside thirds, the way that the outside thirds work in Madden 22 is they actually do a decent job of protecting against the vertical, the vertical streaks, okay, the outside receivers. But they're going to do a terrible job of defending crossing routes. And so this crossing route to R1 is another thing they're going to have to user. If they don't user it, as you can see, it easily beats the cover three. Now, I want to take this just a little bit of a step further here, and I want to show you just kind of something I've been testing out a little bit, uh, specifically in practice mode, and I just want to show you kind of what happens. So all we're going to do is we're going to take the square receiver, and we're just simply going to put him on either a comeback route or a smart routed out route. And that can be a nice little hot read for your offense. What you're going to see is these flats really get pulled out of the way, and if you watch this crosser, you see that you're still going to be able to throw that against cover three, even though the corner technically is back in the, like he has no other route to cover, you're still going to be able to throw those against cover three this year, which I really like that. Now, if I use a comeback route and I smart route that comeback route, I want to show you again here, watch this R1 receiver. You're going to see that now you have a cover three bomb over the top for a one play score against cover three. So, you know, really my favorite adjustment on this play is I love to put that smart route to come back out there. I think that's a really good adjustment. It really doesn't mess with everything else we're trying to do. We're still getting up vertical. Um, it's like the perfect adjustment for this play. Now against cover four uh, on that crosser, it's not gonna be as open, uh, but it's still gonna be open, but it's not gonna be open for a one play score. It's still gonna be open against for a, a big, big, big play, okay? So my big point with this is if the defense wants to play um, you know, any, any coverage, really, you could call this and have a lot of success. And again, most importantly, um, really, I want you to really capitalize on uh, your tight end seam routes and things like that. Okay, The tight end seam routes and, and the quick throws are really good. I don't want to underestimate, again, how important it is. If they're running a lot of, if you're getting a lot of cover to man, the wheel route this year is super good at beating press cover two, shaded down main coverage for a one play score. And then also you've got this as a nice coverage cover four uh, quarters beater. And then most importantly, I think it's really important to show this real quick. And that's a press coverage cover four with a hard flat to the slot corner. And I just want you to watch. We're just simply pass leading that to the outside and we're able to absolutely torch the cover four defense. So this vertical play literally beats every coverage in the game. And ironically, you don't even have to hot route anybody. You just call the play, motion out the receiver, and it's going to be beat every single thing the defense can do. Guys, I want to thank you for watching this video. And really quickly, I just want to remind you about my text message membership. 
If you want to get the best schemes in Madden completely for free, text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. I release a new offensive guide or a new defensive guide every single week of the Madden 22 season. So if you want to get all of those free resources and content and really take your Madden game to the next level, text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you guys later tonight when we start streaming at 7 p.m. Eastern Time.